That was awesome. You get out of here. <laughs> this there are children watching this. No, you no one's watching this. Well, still. What's the most views you have on your channel, bitch? Twenty-seven. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah. Oh. I'm a boss ass bitch. Okay. Hey guys, we're back with more of the Banner Saga. That was uh. Ignore him. It's time to fight that war we were talking about last time. Oh, also I got rid of my Swedish accent in a span of a few seconds. Actually, it took a few minutes. It'll be a shower and music going in the background. Just ignore that. He's dumb. Okay. I mean, we don't really have much of a choice here. So let's just rush into it without having any idea what we're getting ourselves into. What can we do? I mean, Hakan can kill him. Yeah, Hakan, just slay. Hakan, slay! You. Alright, mm, hold on. Sundering impact plus one. Mm. Ooh. No, it won't kill him, though. This will kill him. You! Die! So, there's that kill that Hakan needs. Ow. Oh no, you didn't! What have we got? What are we looking at? Exertion is two. Well, we can at least break down some shields. Hold on. Uh, plus two to return the favor. Ooh. Bring the pain. Yes. There we go. He's run away. He'll hit Moger next time, and that'll be great. Okay. Good enough. Uh, now is the part where you, like, completely trash him. What? There's supposed to be more trashing going on than this. Oh, but that blocked this guy. I'm feeling... Vesselt, how are you? Oh, uh, he appears to be a, sh a shield banger. Malice. Hmm, what does that do? Oh, it's a taunt. Okay, that seems pretty standard. Ooh, uh, that's not. Bercy! Run all that distance. Okay. So we got some Chip to Ripper playing in the background. Ignore that if you can hear it. If you cannot, then it's fine. Um. Gris? Gris, uh, do something with your life. I don't know. Hmm. Hakan, suppose you can go here and then sundering impact on him. And I don't even know. Here we go. You kill this guy. That'll be good enough. Oh, uh, what's his strength at? Not the, not looking the best. Gunolf is well and truly out of it. What does level three do? Oh, nothing. 
Not useful. Okay. Not sure how that worked, but it did. Fast salt. What can you do to this guy? Not enough. What's your natural break damage? Not enough. Um. But you do have a lot of shields, so taunt this guy. There we go. Who, who, who can... Who's up? When is this guy up next? Not you. You. Okay. Is that after Moger? Yes, it is. Okay. So, Bercy. Bercy, you can walk here and slay. Not nearly enough slay. What's up with you, Bercy? I expected more. Gunwolf, no! Our high damage guy. Apparently, our enemies realize that he's high damage. This is. This is gonna be a bit difficult. Okay, Hakan. Hakan, what's your. I mean. Ah, uh, you can't f even fit back there, so doesn't matter. Unless Sundering Impact, this will kill the guy behind him, shouldn't it? Yes, yes. There's a kill for Hakan. No, Mulgar, you were supposed to go. Too, we we were too effective in our killing. Just too good at killing. There. Yep. Approved. Hmm. I mean, no, no, we gotta we gotta do this guy. We don't there's not much of a choice. Okay. Have we kept everyone up and standing? Even if it is just barely? Let's see this. Oh! Well, there is a solution to that individual's problem. I mean... Okay. We can do the same, right? No? He's not got any willpower. Now you do. Bat him over there. Oh no, Gunulf. Ooh, Gunulf is uh not looking not looking too hot. Okay, Hakan take him down. He fired on Gunnolf. Okay. Thought we could get away without any losses. It was not meant to be. And his exertion's only one. So close and yet so far away. Okay. Bercy, time to prove yourself. Maybe. Probably not. You're too far away. Yes! There we go. He's down, and now we're in pillage mode. No fairness here. You're gonna die. Plain and simple as that. Get ready. Okay, you're dead. Take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. Do do do. 
Uh, you can take this opportunity. Mm, do we want to loot? Well, let's go into full screen mode. Eh. I mean, we. No, we charged, didn't we? Pull back before they regroup. Dredge give you a wide berth and scatter into the distance. We lost two fighters and 12 varl. Look at all those kills. Win bonus is two. One injury. Gunulf went down. Gunulf always seems to take a beating for us. Just he's our he's the squad whipping boy. What in the depths are these? You wonder, looking at the unusual dredge slingers. Nobody knows. Without warning, a deranged and half-dead slag stumbles out of a bush, throwing itself upon the yaks attached to the treasure cart. Surprised Varro pull weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off slick rock wall and a sheer drop stops suddenly by a low growl. From the enormous metal wagon dangles precariously off a cliff. From the end swings a confused yak still tied to its reins. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the side is Gunulf, one-handed white-knuckling the cart, the other wrapped around a tree, tree trunk. Um... Treasure cart. It, it's not worth it. I mean... Gunulf, you are our best fighter. Tell Gunulf to let go. My duty, he grunts. He doesn't budge. You wonder how much this responsibility defines his reason for living. The dredge has found some footing and is trying to clamber up over the cart. The tree creaks o under the weight. Order him to let go with authority. With a roar um, that sounds more like you just stabbed him in the side than gave an order, Gunolf lets go of the cart. It flips over the side in a flash, followed much later by a dull thud and a crack. At the base of the steep cliff, hundreds of yards below, the treasure cart is exploded into a frozen firework of gold, valuables, and yaks and dredge gore. That was a costly mistake, gr grits Ubin between clenched teeth. You wonder why that dredge went after the yaks in the first place. Then you realize the bigger problem is the vast fortune now lying at the bottom of the cliff. Um. Your call, Ubin. I trust Ubin. Ubin, Ubin is the smartest guy here. What choice do we have? He mutters. Even we could get. Even if we could gather it up, we've got nothing to haul it. He sounds defeated, but resolute to m in moving on. You begrudgingly set off, leaving a king's ransom beneath your feet. So, the entire point of the journey, collecting all the taxes, that's all wasted. And now, slightly depressing, but awesome music. Is that Dangler? Caravan stops. Godstone moving overhead. For a short rest. The warriors are glad for it. And the stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over. In a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it, though. The earth at the base of the Godstone is scarred. Like a struggle occurred. Merchants. No dredge. Circling Dangler are a variety of goods. A barrel of mead. Who knows how old loose silver, a statue made of soapstone, offerings to a dead god. <sighs> Leave the offerings, but check for the merchant's brother. In the midst of the pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin to find five gold rings strung on it. And the merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it. Matter. Um, take the necklace with intent to return it. Toss the necklace to Moger and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. Don't know what made them think the Godstone to be safe. Moger grunts. We're completely exposed up here, he says. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do it a little further away. Examine the Godstone. 
Dangler was always one of the favorites among men. God of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had, but couldn't get it all on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meanings. Eventually you move on. If I said enough how much I love this game, because mm, you see those down there. Yeah, that's oh, there's a puppy. But that's Dredge. Insane. In the distance, you see smoke ring, smoke rising from the trees. Dredge aren't known for setting fires, said Moger, but it does get their attention. We'd use fires like that to lead them along in the Great Wars. Yeah, but they wised up to that after a while. Interjects another warrior. Or it could be someone trying to get our attention, claims Fasolt. The other group from S.H.I.E.L.D. were sent this way. Oh, this is Fasolt's saying this. Uh, no matter how you look at it, investigation will cost time. Uh, send some viral to look. Mogers, send a few warriors to look, you say. They disappear over the hill. Hey, you keep a steady pace while you wait for them to return. They don't reappear, well past the time it should have taken. Go yourself, ready for a fight. You take Mogur and a dozen warriors with you. You shuffle past dozens of dead slag and varl before the opening clears up. Hundreds of varl sit near the fire, including those you sent to investigate. One puffs along the pipe. Hakan, he greets you. Your warriors said you wouldn't leave them. He explains that they had come from S.H.I.E.L.D. and were surrounded, and lit a fire when they spotted you. Sorry you had to miss the fight, he grins, as his warriors join your caravan. Uh, we missed that one. We missed a good fight. But yeah, those dredge down there. That is gonna be a bit of an issue. Um... Okay, Mogur comes to you privately. I've seen some of the warriors disappearing, he says. First I thought it was my imagination. No, I'm certain several have just gone missing. Mostly men, but some varl too. Can't quite figure it. If it's abandonment, you can't let it stand. Okay, you know, I think we're gonna let this go until the next episode. Okay? I'm Nerski, y'all have been fantastic. Bye bye